Hello everyone, and welcome to the horrifically messy place that is Jameson Wildlife Park, where people are too desperately hungry and have to pee to focus on any of the educational things we are trying to teach them. Yes, 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 this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> However, it is our mess and we are going to try to go ahead and make it right. So welcome back everyone to our land of better beavers, uh, where apparently we have some issues going on. All right, urgent vet to cure our little sick prairie dog. Also, I heard something broken. I can't believe somebody vandalized this. That is so freaking rude. We need all of the education that we can possibly like pack into people's heads. But all right, so we're gonna go ahead and today we are going to give it a good go of trying to increase the education that people are experiencing, uh, which is going to be this one. And clearly, this is an area really packed with a lot of people who aren't learning anything about our zoo. We're going to try to get in there. We're going to try to fix that. We're going to try to take care of all of our poor little animals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, so much disease. All right, let's hire. Okay, okay. Maybe we need to adopt out a bunch of prairie dogs. Oh my gosh. Maybe they're actually getting sick. Oh! <gasps> Could people be throwing them food and making them sick? Oh geez, like all of our prairie dogs are sick. Okay, so we have a prairie dog conundrum going on right now. This place is absolutely filthy, so people are going to be really upset about it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and review our work zones really quickly. Uh, Camp Cougar, Cougar Corridor, I think this is Seal Hills. Yes, this is Seal Hills. Um, and then we also need Moose Creek has a whole bunch of new stuff that I need to go ahead and add into it. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. And then I've been adding things in like over here and over there. Uh, this is Cougar Corridor. Uh, we'll have Cougar Corridor get fixed by those mechanics. There we go. All right. So we need to clean this place up quite literally. And then we need to like make sure that we've got some education going down. Oh, who is this? It's bird nest photographer Laura desperately trying to get all of this clean. All right. Let's hire a couple more people for Seal Hills to clean this up. So once again, these are going to be some of our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures possible. And this is actually going to be Lauren. So we're going to call Lauren. Uh, let's actually leaf litter explore Lauren because you can find some amazing things hidden under leaf litter. Let no one tell you any different. Chips and I always get so sad when they clear out tons and tons of the leaf litter that they have around our apartments because there are so many different species of bug that rely on that leaf litter to overwinter. And when we have our own home one day, we're determined to try to provide a better little like leaf litter spot in our yard where we can know like monarch butterfly babies can hopefully overwinter. There's a ton of bugs who just need that. And it returns a lot of nutrients to the soil. So then like you have to, you remove your leaves off your lawn and then you end up having to spray like all sorts of, of growth formula in the spring. Ah, it's basically a giant mess. And I, I feel so strongly about leaf litter. We're going to have leaf litter expert. There we go. Uh, so this is going to be Melissa and Laura and Melissa. Thank you so, so much for helping us out and keeping all of our pixel biology adventures going by being patrons. It truly means so much to us. Chips and I, you, like our patrons usually are like what help to pay some of our grocery bills. <laughs> so whenever we eat, sometimes we sit down, we're like, thanks patrons, because we have some food. All right, let's get some bins down here too, because people are messy, messy chaotic people. Oh, somebody knocked over my bin? <gasps> okay, this is just not appropriate. If you all cannot behave yourselves, then I'm going to add in some security. Where's my security tree? Let's see. Okay, here's my like African security tree. I think we need to go ahead and put in some security cameras for sure. Uh, but we'll put them in stealthily like we usually do. Sometimes having security cameras about people will behave themselves, knowing it's there. But I always feel like I want to do it stealth style. All right, what about over here? And maybe one over here. Look at all the vandalized stuff! Who would just show up at this area and be like, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna vandalize the seal habitat zone. Like, rude! What on earth? That's just sad. 
Don't be, don't be these people, people. Like, we, we can be better than this in the world. All right, let's see. I've got to get this tucked up into the roof, please. I like those people. They went ahead and properly took care. Uh, green? Yeah. They went ahead and properly took care of their litter. All right. And then, let's see. It looks like, yeah, here's a bin that got vandalized. Here's a conservation board that got vandalized. Rude. Rude. Also, there's some litter over here already. Oh my good gracious. How am I going to teach these people anything? All right. Well, now that we've gotten a little bit of that tidied up, we do need to teach these people some things. So let's actually swing on over and grab the wonderful... Aha, here it is. The wonderful education board set up. What do you mean you want to select it individually? No, 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 no. Select the whole thing. There we go. And we're going to scoop this puppy up and put it down over here so that people can start learning about seals, for crying out loud. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Why on earth is it moving in? Oh, no, please tell me I didn't. <gasps> I probably did edit it. Ah, okay. I edited it to have two speakers, which is not ideal because the other speaker's super far away. All right, let's grab this. This'll do. Onwards! Look at these empty places that are just complete voids of, like, no education. We are about to fix this. And people, unfortunately, will not be interested in learning much until they have their needs taken care of. So we will need to kind of, like, tidy up people's needs some. Also, we know nothing about the seals, even though we have had them for so long. Oh dear, that's not going to make this very effective. <laughs> Let's turn on some music too, so that maybe people will be a little bit more... They'll, they'll want to listen to some music. Let's see, custom music, no ambiance. I want ambient music. Oh well, I'll work on that later. Alright, so we've got a speaker here. However, none of that's going to do us any good. Oh, mechanic research. Not what I meant to click on, but okay. Uh, Kaya Griselda, why don't you do transport rides? Well, no, I'm not going to build a transport ride here. I know that in my heart. Why don't you do a South American theme, just for fun? Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Excellent! I will fix that. Uh, and now we have active disease again. Alright, so who do I want to change? Dr. Oscar. We need some information about seals for sure. And we need to train our staff up a little bit more if I want to start getting some of that research done really well. So let's, we're going to hand out research grants to like all of our staff. Let's see. Oh no, why is the Okafi's welfare bad? Ah, oh, why are you like dying of hunger? Ah, why are you curled up like you're dying of hunger? Oh geez. And then we still have disease for our little, oh, oh. okay. We're going to need more animals, more keepers, I think. How are our keepers doing? Beaver pond, very overworked. Pond algae researchers. Yes, we need, okay, we're gonna hand out raises for our keepers as well and get a new keeper assigned who will help out with our okapi. And this is actually going to be peach. Peach milk, oh, okay, so this is going to be, let's have you be peach orchard or fruit, how about fruit orchard? Fruit tree expert, there we go. Peach milk. Welcome, welcome peach milk. I do hope you will be able to help out with Cougar Corridor. Is this, uh, let me make sure. Okay, no, no, I wanna see the work zones. Does Cougar Corridor include, yes, the Okapi. So hopefully they will get taken care of pretty soon. Meanwhile, we have so many prairie dogs. On this very, very rainy day, let's come on in. Oh, there's too many prairie dogs for sure. We're going to come on in and we are going to start sorting through some of our prairie dogs. Uh, maybe we should come over here to do it because it might be a little easier. All right, we want is the black-tailed prairie dog. And then we want maturity, I think. There's a bunch of babies. And we're going to grab all of the adults who are not Gold Star. And we'll adopt them out. Let's see. There's several who are sick, but they're in transit now. 
to Rory's Microscopic Cell Research Center. Oh, that was a good name. I'm really proud of myself for picking that name because it sounds really cool. <laughs> All right, so that got rid of some of our prairie dogs. Um, and meanwhile, let's go ahead and stick the rest on contraceptives for right now. Because I think that they will definitely... Okay, prairie dogs. They, we can make more prairie dogs if needed later. Uh, let's see. There we go. And they're all on contraceptives now. And how's our Okapi? Finally getting that nutrition. Still needs a lot of enrichment, it seems. Alright, so the Okapi is feeling a little bit better. I feel badly that it needs more enrichment. So let me do a quick bit of research on the Okapi. Alright, let's see. Where, oh, where are you, my dear? There you are. I mean, you're not a deer, you're no copy, but still. Let's see, that's not the enrichment it wants. Rubbing pillar? That's not the enrichment it wants. Sprinkler? Okay, so we need we need to research more about the Okapi to unlock more of their enrichment to make that happen, I think. Pumpkin the moose is about to die of old age! Oh, man, I'm just trying to teach people. Ah! A sea lion has escaped! All right, I think I need to add in a couple more rocks over here if that's the case. There we go. That should prevent any more outcropping expeditions. And then, oh, the animal has died. Oh, I just can't keep up with all of it. Ah, that's really dramatic. No, pumpkin. Oh, don't have her baby just like sit there. Oh, this is, oh, no. Oh, why? Oh, the travesty. Oh, they just can't. Oh, oh, dear. All right, let's see. Zara has been caught. How's Tyson doing? Tyson! How did you get inside of the prairie dog den? No wonder you're not happy. American bisons do not belong inside prairie dog dens. Oh my gosh. All right, meanwhile. Uh, I think we should definitely maybe quarantine all these sick little animals. Maybe if I snag them. We can work on that a little bit better. Pumpkin has passed away. Tyson is doing better, so protesters should leave soon. Oh, now that we have handled that much chaos, let's carry on. We need to continue to educate people a little bit about the importance of the sea lions. If you guys want to come and hang out with the sea lions, you're going to have to learn about them. All right, let's turn it down so that people won't get too annoyed. Oh, they have some clashing going on over here. That's going to make them annoyed. There we go. All right, much better, much better. People really don't know anything about sea lions over here, so we're going to try to really help them out. They're here, so you can only hope that they want to learn. They just need the opportunity to. All right, let's put that in. And then we'll turn down the speaker till it's teensy tiny. And hopefully that will help. People are coming over for food down here. And on their way to food, maybe we can get a few of the conservation boards. Just a couple. Yeah, so while you wait in line for your burger, you can go ahead and maybe learn a little bit about some of the other things. Bee population, eh, eh? Poaching and exotic pet trade. Sounds really sad, but you know, we've got we've got to learn somewhere. Oh geez. Big mess over here too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think people need to be over here. Did I make that winding path? I don't think people need to come this way. This is did I do this? This is just silly. Yeah, people don't need to come over here. I'm going to I'm going to cut them off. So, yeah, no more path there, no more path there. No more path there. And then we'll chop it off back here too cuz we don't need people back here. Like what are you guys doing? You're going to be so bored walking and not being able to see anything for like literal ages. No, 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 no. However, if you are going to bother to wander all the way over here, you're gonna learn something about some of the animals while you're at it. How about the American bison? There we go. Let's 
we'll get some American bison information going. And then a little bit further over here, we'll put in some prairie dog information. And then we'll turn this down. How about this? So it's teensy tiny. What? Does this one not link up with American bison? Like, look, he's literally right there. It should. Interesting. General education coverage. Apparently, this is too far from the American bison to count. Oh, well. All right. Well, there we go. We'll sell that then. And I am, like I said, I'm just going to cut this away because people don't need to be here. Oh, now the alligators are fighting. <laughs> okay, let's dive in. Ember the alligator. You can go ahead and be released to the wild now. There we go. All right, slowly but surely, I think we're taking care of things, other than the fact the zoo does have a ridiculously high amount of litter. We are putting down more education stations. Uh, so I think people are going to be learning a little bit more about ye olde moose and some of the other animals. And I think, did I? I remember I stuck something inside the holly bush and I was so proud. Oh, I think I just made the holly bush. Oh, see, that was a really beautiful decoration using the planters. I like that. That's very nice. All right. So what about you people? Are you guys getting an education? Uh, also, they've been telling me I should raise the raise the price of coming to the zoo. So we're going to do it. Not to $3,000. I don't think that would go over well. All right. So how's our education now? Two. Two. I see. I see. Let's see. People are beginning to become slightly better educated. It seems these are still our pockets of doom. And I think a lot of these people are just like super hungry and that's why they're not learning a lot. So what if somehow in here, you know what? I have a master plan. One of the best ways we could probably attract people to show up and to actually, to actually eat. What if I put in a restaurant? I think I could slip in. Oh my gosh, this art, this like Arctic restaurant actually looks really good for this area. Okay, so what if we can slip in a restaurant down here and then make a plaza where people have to walk past a ton of education spots? I think we can make it happen. All right, let me investigate. We'll just say the restaurant is themed. It doesn't really match, like it's wood. I guess that could technically match. It doesn't really match the rest of the themes that we have going on, but let's build this. And then let's go ahead and have just like a gigantic plaza outside of it. That will just say people can come and visit if they want to get something to eat. All right, there's down on that. They've got some stairs here. And then we're going to come this way because a lot of people are hungry and tired and they don't really know what they want. I mean, that would actually lead to a direct direct line to the restaurant just like, like if you need to come in faster and then over here like when people come down we'll have a little education spot that i might be able to put down all right it's not pretty i'm gonna just fill in plants to use plant tape to kind of hide everything but i think that will work pretty well and then we are going to have a new restaurant chef. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so exciting. So this is actually going to be Holly. So Chef Holly, welcome, welcome. You are going to be our brand new chef in charge of this restaurant zone. Um, we're going to add this into Seal Heels, I think. And then let me go ahead. There we go. And I'm pretty sure people will cotton on to this pretty quickly because they're so hungry lately. And when they come down here, I'm just going to absolutely cover the area. Oh, maybe we'll get, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get a small exhibit over here as well. Just a cute little exhibit put in. 
It could even be a, a nice little stone one like this, because why not? Or maybe I'll do a little arctic exhibit like this. Hmm. I kind of like the stone one more. Why not? Live a little, right? So we'll put in a cute little a cute little exhibit like so. And then people can gain some education resources from being able to view the animal in the exhibit out front. All right. All I've got is Brazilian wandering spiders. However, let's see. We've already got bullfrogs. Is that all you can... Okay, those are my stored animals. That's the, the only thing on the market is Brazilian wandering spiders. Well, we are in a challenge, so let's do it. We'll go ahead and add them in here. And then let's go ahead and take care of their habitat. Hang in there, little Brazilian wandering spiders. And I think we'll just call this like uh, the restaurant rocks. Just as like a decorative spot. All right, and hopefully these guys will do well. Let's give them, there we go. Some nice little education billboards so that people can learn a little bit about them as they come on down. I, I think we might have some restaurant people soon. Going to, disease is now life threatening. Thirsty critically, what? Okay, I don't know why the, we haven't had a vet like show up but this is bad all right hopefully we can take care of our coffee i didn't even notice so facility inaccessible why no recent guests why would this be inaccessible people are using this do i need a path to it i i thought i connected this path really well uh oh okay link tables We've got all these nice confirmed link. Okay. All right, why would this be inaccessible? Hmm. Is it because there's a tree growing in the middle? I don't think that would have anything to do with anything. Um. I know, I know, there's a lot of things happening. Maybe this? Do I need to put it into a work zone? Oh gosh, there's just, <laughs> why must there just be endless chaos? Yes, I know, I know there's an important alert that requires attention. I'm in the middle of something right now. Oh my gosh, all right, fine. What is it? I know that the, I know the life-threatening disease is going on and Imbri died of old age in here with our pronghorns. Oh my gosh, we're gonna like lose some of our special events if this keeps up. Now, why on earth would this be inaccessible? Waiting for customers. Yes, Chef Holly, you should be, like, loaded with customers. I am not sure why you don't have people. Ah! My master plan! I thought for sure this would work well. Because we're all connected up, right? Right? Okay, let's see. Is there, like, a way to see guests? Like, if they, where they can traverse buildings? Negative impact on guests. Let's see. Guest education coverage. Oh, we have some spots over here that I didn't notice. That I'll go ahead and remove because people aren't going to be using them. Huh. I might have to see if maybe... Here, one second. Haha! <laughs> Saved! Okay, I just had to like reload it for a second because the pathing needed to come back in. And now everybody is lining up for our wonderful restaurant, which means we are going to hold these people hostage when it comes to being able to get some good education going. So let me grab this. And we're going to educate the heck out of all of these people who are coming over to like get something to eat and drink. They're going to be coming in they're going to just have all of these signs lined up side by side. A gigantic wall of them to hopefully teach them about the ozone layers. Haha! -ha. 
and the dangers of believing in traditional medicines. And then, okay, yes, disease is now life-threatening for oral copy. However, oral copy is safely tucked away in quarantine where hopefully our vets will be able to take care of them. This is what I thought would happen. Like, look at how packed this area has now become because everybody is so excited. They just really could not figure out what to do with the new signs. That was our big problem. All right, maybe we're going to turn this into like an entire education station. So we're going to maybe move these trees out of the way and make this into a big looping area where people can just like walk around in here and they can just learn a lot about the different animals. They can learn a lot about uh, whatever we can shove in their head, to be honest. When it comes to education, look at all of these empty mines we have to mold. All right, we're going to do our best. Oh my gosh. All right, who is sick? Yes, I know. Adio is sick. I'm trying my best. No, don't interbreed. Don't interbreed, my little foxes, please. There we go. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big chaotic adventure where we are constantly like one step behind every time I think we're getting closer to being able to try Timberborn by like catching up on this stuff. No, no, not really. Not really at all. So if you guys could do please leave a like for our very chaotic adventures and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time bye bye